Can you sleep with a scoliosis brace? Scoliosis bracing has been one of the most common forms of scoliosis treatment for many decades. In fact, it's a form of non-surgical treatment that at one point was considered one of the mainstreams of scoliosis treatment before scoliosis surgery and the invention of the pedal screw has taken such a significant approach. And in fact, when we look at the, when we look at scoliosis braces, there was many different braces that were designed and really at the end goal was designing a brace that would fit around the torso and the goal at trying to stop progression of the scoliosis. And that was the main goal of traditional bracing over time. Now it's not until modern corrective bracing that now the goal could potentially also be improving spinal alignment, improving the scoliosis as well. Now we know bracing is definitely more effective on flexible spines, spines that have more flexibility. And more flexible spines typically mean spines that are still growing, people are still developing. But this is not always true as well because there's things that you can do to help improve the flexibility of the spine to make bracing more effective on patients that are not growing. But so therefore the most common facet that's associated with traditional bracing is that it's normally prescribed in children only. Only. And these traditional approaches are really just trying to slow progression, normally during the progressing growth spurt when curves are at most risk. So when we look at sleeping in a brace, is that we're looking at really determining what type of case that you have, because each type of scoliosis is very unique. And therefore, every person's patient's every person's prescription for brace wearing is also unique. So regardless of the brace that you're prescribed, normally it needs to be prescribed or worn in order for it to be effective, meaning a brace that's not put on has no effect on the body. Some braces potentially could be recommended to only wear part-time, where others may revolve full-time wearing, but in most cases, whether they're wearing a part-time or full-time, most patients elect to sleep in their brace if they're only wearing it part-time. And of course, if you're wearing it full-time, you're sleeping and wearing it during the day as well. And some braces are only designed to be worn while you sleep, I meaning it's physically impossible to wear it any other time. You can't walk with it, you can't function in it. And these braces are typically designed to be only nighttime braces. Again, each case is unique, but in most cases, when we look at full-time bracing, where it could be up to 23 hours a day, we know that this type of bracing could be a significant period of time. Meaning, in some cases, it can be wearing a brace for three, five years, or until growth is completely stopped, depending where we find them in the growth cycle. So therefore, when a brace is prescribed at full-time, normally, again, they're wearing it uh, while, they, while they sleep in it. And then some braces are gonna definitely be more comfortable to sleep in, especially if the spine is improving. So what even most patients find sleeping in the brace initially may be uncomfortable, but it normally should improve over time. And this is one of the signs of your spine actually getting better. If you're wearing a brace and, your spine, and the brace is getting easier and easier and easier to wear, that could be a good sign because only as your spine gets straighter, the brace is applying less pressure. And if it applies less pressure, it's definitely more comfortable. If at ever you're wearing a brace and it becomes less comfortable, there is two key things you want to look at. One is have you outgrown the brace or two, is your curve worsening and therefore now the brace is applying more pressure because the curve is getting bigger. Now, when we look at nighttime only braces, we look at something that can be known as a different type of name as nighttime aligners. And these are braces that are designed specifically to be worn only at night. And one common name is something called a Charleston bending brace or a nighttime bending brace. And these braces actually bend patients into an abnormal position so they can sleep in this abnormal bent position, most commonly used for lower curvatures like lumbar or thoracolumbar curvatures. The higher the curvature gets into the spine, the, these braces tend to be less effective, not providing any results at all because the curvature is beyond where somebody can bend. Compliance is a major issue when it comes to scoliosis braces. And sometimes these braces, even though you think they'll be easy, you just gotta be wearing them at night. A lot of times it can be very challenging to wear a brace that bends you into one position and, and try to stay there because you can't turn, you can't move too much, you're being in this weird bending position. And, and they're not unfortunately super effective because you only can wear them while you're sleeping. So therefore the, the dose is gonna be dependent upon how long, how long you sleep for. So if you're somebody who sleeps for 12 hours, it could be a 12 hour dose, but if you only sleep for 
six to eight, it can be a much less dose, so therefore it can have much less effect on the body. These braces cannot be worn walking, waking, seated, in any other way. And what it does, by bending the person, it's taking this three-dimensional scoliosis position, and it's trying, really trying to address one of the dimensions, and that is the bend. And it's trying to put the person in this overbent position, hoping that if we can just hold them while they sleep, and they can sleep in this overbent position, we could affect the progressive nature of scoliosis. Again, not super effective bracing. I don't love using these braces at all because I find they're not very effective. I would opt for a different version of bracing, which we'll talk about. Other names that are associated with this type of bending brace is something like a Providence brace or a Wilmington brace. Again, these are all versions of this nighttime bending brace. And they are all, again, they have very limited effectiveness because of the limitations that are associated with this type of brace. Now, when we look at traditional bracing, even other versions outside of the nighttime brace, like a Boston brace that could be worn more full-time, their potential limit on how well they can improve a scoliosis is limited because they really just kind of squeeze the spine. They don't address the rotational component of scoliosis, and they don't address the elongation that should happen with a scoliosis patient as well. And since scoliosis is more than just a bend, we can't just squeeze a scoliosis straighter. It's, this is, a scoliosis is a very complex three-dimensional condition that requires really addressing the scoliosis on all three dimensions. Traditional bra braces normally really address scoliosis on a two-dimensional level. So therefore, it's very limited. And since um, traditional braces curves tend to worsen, compliance tends to be a big problem because since they're providing such a squeeze effect and they're not really reducing curve, just trying to slow progression, that if the curve were to worsen while the person's wearing the brace, the brace becomes even harder and harder to wear. And since they're squeezing, they become very difficult to comply with because they apply such a squeeze squeezing pressure. Now, modern corrective bracing tends to address many of these shortcomings associated with traditional bracing. And modern corrective bracing really represents everything we've learned about scoliosis and bracing and how effective it can be over the years of that braces have been used. Modern corrective braces, things like scoli brace, use really state-of-the-art technology really to ensure each brace is 100% customized. And this is very important because when we look at traditional bracing, like Boston braces, they almost always look the same, no matter if the person has a thoracolumbar curve, lumbar curve, thoracic curve, S curve, where you know they, they look very similar because they're very symmetrical braces trying to squeeze the body. Where when we look at a scoli brace, it's really 100% customized. Each brace is built one by one, completely the, the, the design for the person, and it's trying to address the scoliosis in all three dimensions. And beyond just trying to squeeze, a scoli brace or a corrective brace is trying to push. And by pushing, we're trying to improve the shape of the body, not just trying to slow it down and, and squeeze it, stop it from progressing. We're trying to improve the shape. And by improving the shape, we can make the, the wearing the brace more comfortable because the best way to make a brace more comfortable is to kind of get results. And the best way I like to explain it is kind of like bracing on your teeth. When you first get braces on your teeth, initially those braces are putting a tremendous amount of pressure on your teeth because your teeth are so misaligned. But normally after a week or two, the braces on your teeth become very easy to wear because your teeth have already moved and now you barely notice them anymore because your body has a, already changed and improved. This is very similar when it comes to scoliosis bracing, that if you have a really well-designed corrective brace that's pushing the spine back into a greater alignment, you should feel more comfort as your body improves because the brace itself is putting less pressure. So the best way to make a brace more comfortable is to get results, is to actually get improvement. Now, we know some braces are definitely designed more for full-time, others for part-time wear, but we one thing we know is that these braces that are worn, that are designed just for sleep, just for nighttime, these bending type of braces have a very limited effect on trying to improve the scoliosis because they're limited on dose and they're limited on time and they're really only addressing the scoliosis at one dimension, which is bending. Where we look at more corrective braces, even though the prescription may still be only nighttime, I would rather see somebody in a modern corrective brace just sleeping in it than in somebody in just a bending brace because more than likely the modern corrective brace is going to, is going to correct more dimensions and it's going to correct the spine in a more significant manner. Now, any bracing is tends to be just a piece 
of a complete conservative treatment approach, meaning we're gonna use, I very rarely just use corrective bracing alone. I'll use it in a combination with therapy and exercise and rehabilitation and home exercises. And I will combine these things to provide the very best results possible because the more you can address the scoliosis on multiple levels, the more likely you're gonna get a positive result. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.